Welcome to Gartner ThinkCast. I'm Karen Stokes Lockhart. Today, we're continuing with our coverage of Gartner IT Symposium Expo with a quick overview of the opening keynote. A couple weeks ago, we heard from experts Chris Howard and Jean Alvarez discussing the major themes from the top sessions on site in Orlando, Florida. This week, you'll hear from the opening keynote speakers themselves, Gartner experts Alicia Mullery and Daryl Plummer. They'll walk through how to find what they call the golden path to value, avoiding both the hype and the hesitation around AI. Along the way, they'll break down what it takes to align both AI readiness and human readiness to capture real business outcomes. Now, here's Alicia and Daryl. Right now, we're at a crossroads with AI. People are gonna look back at this moment and say, this is where leaders either made a mistake or they put us on a path to something truly great. When it comes to AI, it is easy to fall into one of two traps. On one side is disbelief. We dismiss its power because we haven't seen enough transformative impact yet. And on the other side is blind faith, just falling for all the hype. The goal is to find the sweet spot in the middle that we call the golden path to value. But finding that path is easier said than done. When you look at the actual value companies are getting, well, there's cause for concern. Oh, yes. Gartner found that the odds of an AI initiative actually getting a return on investment are just one in five. Think about that. For every single success story you hear about, there are four other projects that are barely breaking even. Or worse, they're just flat out losing money. So what's the secret sauce? How do you make sure you're in that successful 20%? Well, it all boils down to one word, readiness. And here's the twist. Most of the time, technology is actually more ready than we humans are. Okay, let's break this down. AI readiness sounds complicated, but it's not about passing the world's toughest tests. It's really just asking, can this technology help you find value? And then there's human readiness. And that's about whether you have the right workforce and organization in place to capture that value and sustain it. Here's a GPS for your entire AI journey. We call it the Gartner Positioning System, and it lets you check the readiness of each AI use case you have. At the top is where you'll find high AI and human readiness. But here's the problem. Most organizations are stuck close to the bottom where nothing is ready. AI readiness accelerates much faster than human readiness, and us humans just can't keep up. And even AI has a readiness problem, like accuracy. I mean, generative AI can have an error rate of up to 25%. Now, for some tasks, hey, that's totally fine. But what if you're, say, the Federal Reserve? Yeah, not so fine. The old solution was always, oh, just put a human in the loop. But that whole equation is collapsing in on itself. Why? Because AI can make mistakes way faster than we humans can catch them. So the big takeaway here is that you have to bring your own accuracy. Create formal metrics, compare one AI to another, and figure out your good enough ratio where accuracy is just good enough for your specific projects. And consider AI agents. Man, these things are at the absolute peak of the hype cycle right now. 40% of CIOs are already adopting them, but not all agents are created equal. On one hand, you've got your conversational agents. They're ready to talk to you right now, but they're not ready to reason or to make decisions. On the other hand, you've got autonomous decision-making agents. These are the ones that can execute complex, autonomous tasks. That's where the real value is hiding. So my advice, don't just settle for conversations. Demand reasoning and autonomous decisions from your agent. And let's talk about the money, because a lot of CFOs are completely losing track of AI spending, and honestly, for good reason. AI doesn't have a simple one-time upfront cost. It has a transition mortgage that you just keep on paying and paying. And why is that? Well, for every 100 days of implementation effort, add another 25 days for training and another 100 to 200 days of change management effort. And on top of all of that, you still have to pick the right vendors. Seems like these AI vendors are taking over the world. They're spending more on AI than the gross domestic product of most countries. They make these circular money deals to fund that spending. And they're connected to governments who want to control your use of AI. In fact, every AI vendor decision is a sovereignty decision. So look for vendors who can withstand the outrageous spending and government involvement while still delivering good value to your organization. Hi, I'm Mary Masalio, a Vice President Distinguished Analyst at Gartner. 
I've led several sessions at many Gartner conferences through the years. And if there's one thing I can say about them, is that attending them is the best way to stay ahead of the competition. Each conference I've been to provides attendees with invaluable insights and ideas. And the content is always relevant and tailored to key issues being faced by leaders in every core business, be it finance, HR, sales, IT, supply chain, or marketing. Join me at a Gartner conference to learn about emerging trends and gain new perspectives that you won't be able to find anywhere else. Leave our conferences ready to contribute more at work, and most importantly, be equipped with the skills to turn new ideas into action. Visit gartner.com slash conferences or the link in the description of this podcast to learn more. All right, let's switch gears. The technology might be ready, but are your people? This is often the harder journey. And in this journey, it really starts with a primal fear that AI is stealing jobs. You see the headlines everywhere of an AI bloodbath with jobs. But is it true? Not really. The reality is that in 2025, only about 1% of headcount reductions are a direct result of AI. What we are seeing is hiring restraint, especially for junior-level jobs, because AI is making it easier for senior staff to handle that kind of work. So instead of layoffs, a better strategy is what we call a value remix, where you use AI to cut your backlog or to reduce fraud. Or you could just focus on actually generating revenue. Now, to do all that, your people are going to need some new skills. We've all heard about prompt engineering by now, right? But the next evolution of that is context engineering. This is the skill of giving AI an entire frame of reference, all the constraints, directions, and cues that it needs to build a truly sophisticated answer. And all done without you having to write a novel link prompt. In addition to new skills, AI creates these behavioral byproducts that may affect the skills you already have. For example, with AI coding assistance, if you aren't using your coding skills every day, you are losing your coding skills every day. That is skills atrophy. But on the good side, you get the rise of what we call Swiss Army Knife workers. And these are super curious people who just start using AI to solve any problem they come across. But here's the real warning. A staggering 91% of organizations aren't even scanning for these changes in workforce behavior. And beyond behavior, your entire IT organization will look different in 2030. Because of AI, you'll have extra capacity. But you never want to look like you have too many people for the job. That's the extra capacity paradox. And you need to put those people to work generating new business value starting now. So what's the payoff when both AI and human readiness are high? Well, they come together to create these massive shock waves ones that can help you transcend all your previous limitations. Take education. Because of AI, in many cases, a four-year college degree is no longer an economic advantage. In the very near future, your talent pipeline isn't going to be dominated by expensive four-year degrees. It's going to be filled with candidates who have certified deep AI immersion experience. Here's a shockwave for vendors. The most effective price for Gen AI might be zero. Gen AI is an undifferentiated capability. You wouldn't pay for autocorrect, you, you expect that. And we are headed that way with Gen AI. What people will pay for is AI that solves wicked hard problems or elevates core business competencies. And one more shockwave. What happens when dozens of clones of you start showing up at work or AI twins of your most knowledgeable employees are able to be in multiple places at once? No, that's not science fiction. Through AI avatars, employee expertise never leaves the building even when employees do. We're talking about a fully autonomous workforce where AI agents are executing business processes 24-7. That transcends all of our limitations. And isn't that a little scary? I mean, why do we even need people? Yeah, that's the primal fear, that AI will replace what we do now. But let me say this bluntly. We keep fighting to protect our roles from the past, We'll never reimagine our roles for the future. And we have to stop waiting to see what AI will do to us. You heard him. We will have to stop waiting. We decide what humans will do and what AI will not do. Okay, let's wrap this up. To find, capture, and sustain real value from AI, you have to balance AI and human readiness. For technology, that means managing accuracy, costs, and vendors. 
For people, get ready for new skills and be willing to adapt your entire organization. The Golden Path isn't easy, and this is just a taste of what you'll encounter. The crossroads we're standing at right now are an invitation to go beyond your limits because what got you here isn't going to get you there. In the end, remember this. You decide the future, not AI. Thanks for listening to this latest episode of ThinkCast. That was Alicia Mullery and Daryl Plummer. To learn more about this year's topics and themes at Gartner IT Symposium Expo and to find a conference near you, follow the links in the notes. ThinkCast will be back wherever you listen to podcasts a week from today. In the meantime, please rate, review, subscribe, and share with a colleague so neither of you will miss it. ThinkCast is a production of Gartner. This podcast may not be reproduced or distributed in any form without Gartner's permission. It consists of the opinions of Gartner's research organization, which should not be construed as statements of fact. Content provided by other speakers is expressly the views of the speaker and or their organization. While the information contained in this podcast has been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, Gartner disclaims all warranties as to the accuracy, completeness, or adequacy of such information. Although Gartner Research may address legal and financial issues, Gartner does not provide legal or investment advice, and its research should not be construed or used as such.